Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use MC Jukebox. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section and type in MC Jukebox, like so. Install the latest version and restart your server. What this plugin allows you to do is play music by either using a command or entering a world guard region. For this plugin, you have to register on the website called mcjukebox.net. Once you've registered there, check your email to confirm your account creation. It should look something similar to this. Now log in into MC Jukebox and add a server. Once you've added the server, just fill in the blanks appropriately. The slider here fades in the music in and out so it doesn't just cut out abruptly. The most important part is the API key. You want to copy this as you'll have to paste it into Minecraft later. I'll keep my tabs open just in case I need to copy something later again. Now the next thing you need to do is actually get some music and upload it and store it somewhere in the cloud. The link in the description is to a github page where there are three tutorials for you to follow. These tutorials have been made by the MC Jukebox community. All of them should work. For this example I'm going to be using the first tutorial using the service called Jukehost. I followed the tutorial and uploaded a song using this service. Now let's go into game and actually enter the API key so the plugin recognizes and links to the server and play some music. In game, type in slash jukebox set key and then paste the API key you copied earlier. Now type in slash jukebox and some text will pop up, click it and you'll connect to your server through the browser. This page must be open to hear the music. To hear the music, type in slash jukebox music the name of the player and then the link to the direct URL of the track. Let me go and copy the link from the track I uploaded to Jukehost earlier. Okay, now paste it in and as you can hear, the music is playing. For more info on how to set up world guard regions, go to the Spigot page and there will be a short video explaining that. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further inquiries, contact our support team. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.